guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I don't think it's going to be a long Dollar Tree haul because I think my phone storage is full. I don't even know how that's possible, but I think it is. So I'm going to go until the phone tells me it won't let me go any further. Uh, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. My birthday's coming up on Monday, and by the time I upload this video, it might be after my birthday, but... Um, I kind of wanted to clear out some space in the car so that we could all go out in the car. I just went to visit my family and I had to get a rental. I just could not empty all of my hole out of the car. It was just so much. So the first thing I want to share with you guys, because I think I'd like to have oatmeal tomorrow for breakfast, are these um, oatmeals. I bought the limited edition gingerbread. I've had it forever. You guys know I showed it in my walkthrough like probably weeks ago. It's been sitting in the car. Um, I picked up pumpkin spice and I picked up the hot chocolate, which sounds really good to me. I feel like fresh raspberries with the hot chocolate would be really good. So I did pick up some berries. I think I picked up blackberries actually, but I just really would like raspberries, but I, they didn't have them at Aldi's. So these are new and you don't get as many as you get in the other. You get five packs, but seriously, hot chocolate flavored oatmeal, that's got to be good, right? I mean, yeah, hello, it sounds good to me. I don't really have too many food items, but I, my husband is like obsessed with these Dandy Pack cashews. They're four ounces each. They're getting a little hard to find, but when I see them, I do pick up a couple of them every time because he really likes them. And it says that they're sea salt halves and pieces, but they actually are not like little puny pieces. They're decent size. They're a little saltier than usual, I think, but he really likes them. So that's good for him. Then um, I did pick up just two of these Rondoletti delicious cream wafers. My son loves the pirulines. So I had a feeling he might love these. He hasn't had them yet because he hasn't seen them yet, but I'm sure they'll be gone before they'll be gone in no time. But I, I picked up two because I'd never seen these before. Has anyone ever tried these? How are they? Let's, um, I guess, I don't know. Are, are these like a staple or a brand name? And I don't know it. It comes from Indonesia, it says. I have no idea. I mean, the name Rondoletti, I've never heard before. I've heard Pyroline. That's a brand name, but I've never heard of these. So let's see if these are good or yucky. Sometimes packaging, well, the packaging is <laughs> kind of looks like a garbage bag, doesn't it? Like from Parks Department. I don't know if I like that. They taste just like the pyroline only chocolate. So for four servings, you get four wafers for 140 calories. That's, that's a lot of calories for a little cookie, but they are really delicious. So you could put that in your oatmeal, put one of these in your hot cocoa flavored oatmeal. That'll be good in the morning. Um, next, I picked up one of these pumps. Well, it comes like this from the Dollar Tree, just plain, but I love the color. Matches my bathroom. And I've been sticking these stickers on it. And I'm just going to put some of the waterproof Mod Podge over it and put it in my bathroom for the fall. I think it's cute. This color matches my bathroom really well. And I just think it's a cute little thing to stick in the bathroom with my hand lotion, actually. I'm going to squeeze some of my hand lotion in there because I, I have, like, big things of hand lotion a lot of the time. And it's better to have, like, a pump. I like pumps. I am obsessed with pumps. And then another food item, actually. And I think that would be the end of all the food items. I did pick up two of these because my son is obsessed with nacho cheese dip. But most of the time, I don't like any of them from the Dollar Tree. And when I saw this, I was like, hmm, let's try it and see if it's like movie theater cheese. Because it says that it's, um, what did it say that made me think it is distributed for a company called Mexicorp. And I don't know, but I feel like if it's a product of Mexico, it's probably good nacho cheese sauce, I'm thinking. So I could be crazy, but we're going to try that. And I mean, my son loves nacho cheese sauce. If he says it's good, then I'm sure it's good. And then I, I bought these forever ago, literally forever ago, to the point where I think I've bought other stuff to stick in the front of the house, but 
I love these because they're made of burlap, like plastic burlap, and I can hang them on my shutters and nothing's going to happen to them unless they get windswept into the canal. This one says trick or treat. And this one says come in for a spell or two. And I love that one. I just love this one, but I figured I'd get them both because they match and they're really cute. They look like the royal banners to my Halloween scene. I love them. I was so excited when I saw these. I found them in Staten Island and I was thrilled. I mean thrilled. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy in Mint with Petroleum Jelly. And I love mint. I love peppermint chapstick. But for those of you who are also peppermint chapstick lovers, you know that they don't come out until soon. Like any day now, they're going to be out in droves. And they're actually kind of expensive. And I usually wait until after Christmas and I buy them at Walmart on clearance. And I usually get 12 tubes. But last year, because of COVID, I didn't get them at Walmart. And I didn't have any. I had like a few... And full disclosure, I ran out. So when I saw these, I picked up eight of them and I was so happy. Like that ought to cover me for a while. This is my second favorite chapstick in the whole world. And as soon as I do see the chapstick ones, you know I'm going to get a dozen of those too. Because I go through probably a tube of chapstick every two weeks, I would say. I am like a compulsive chapstick user. I really am. So this was a score, score, score. I could not have been happier. I really do not like, I did try the Blistax and the medicated berry flavor and I kind of like it and I sort of really like it, but I love that one. And I love Chapstick, which they don't sell at the Dollar Tree. I wish they did. They did one time sell Chapstick, brand Chapstick. Like it was a fluke and it was in there and I was happy, but I've never seen it since. Um, have you guys seen these? Tough Plus all-purpose cleaning wipes. You get 160 wipes. These are the bomb. They work really well. The only thing I don't like is that they're not sealed. So if you, you know, they're going to go dry. Don't buy like a million of them. But I do like the tub and how it is. And they, they work really well. They honestly are a nice towelette. Like that's the, th it's, see, you could see that it's kind of like thick and spongy a little bit. It does a good job cleaning. It doesn't have any kind of scent to it at all, but I, I like it. It cleans really well. I think it does a good job. And for a dollar for 160, even if you just wipe your counter with them, it's cheaper than using paper towels and they're absorbent. So great deal. Great, great, great deal for a dollar. I was really surprised to find that. Oops. I was really surprised to find that Dollar Tree smartened up. They just made these in a whole sleeve in size six to 12, and these exact socks in a whole sleeve in women's sizes to nine. So, hello, brilliant. Usually they make like three of one print, three of another in like a collection, but they just straight up said, we know you guys just want the fall socks, so we're just gonna give you the red truck with the, and look, it has like these colors, it makes me super happy. This is so 2021 pumpkin colors. And yeah, I just love them. I think they're super duper cute. And I actually got those for me because every once in a while I do wear socks like this. Every once in a while, it's gotta be freezing out. And I would definitely wear cute pumpkin. I love the pumpkin colors. I just love that it has all the colors of the pumpkins in the sock. It's just so cute. So I had to have that. And then I was so excited when I found this on the shelf, Dr. Sheffield's fluoride free, historically natural toothpaste. This is some good stuff. You guys, you cannot go wrong with this toothpaste. It is legit. This is legit. Good toothpaste. It's expensive in the store. Dr. Sheffield's is a trusted brand name. That's what you get when you look inside. It's 0.5 ounce. Fluoride free helps to remove stains for a whiter, brighter smile, activated charcoal and charcoal is really good for you to brush your teeth with. It, it, it's like literally probably the best thing you could use to wash your, brush your teeth. So just so you guys know, the toothpaste is black. I'm just, some people don't, you know, realize that, but this is good stuff. 
really good stuff. I can't believe we can get something like this for a dollar. They did have the Spearmint one a while ago by Dr. Sheffield, but this time it's the Activated Charcoal, and I'm really, really excited. This is an amazing, amazing product. I'm so happy I picked up a couple of those, and I was thrilled to find that. Then, boring but essential, I did get a box of Brillo, and I smashed it up on the way home, but still, it's worth it. You get eight packs for eight Brillo pads for a dollar. And actually what I do, which may sound crazy, but I've been doing it for years is, do you ever use a Brillo pad just to clean one pot that was like stubborn and then leave it on the side of the sink and when you come back to it, it's totally rusted? I get a scissor and before I ever use these, I cut them into four because Brillo pads are big. So I cut them into four, like, you know, crisscross in the middle and then, you know, like four. And like that, and I just use a small piece of the Brillo pad every time I wash my pots and then I throw it away because I don't want to get rust stains in my counter because it's granite and that can happen. So I'm really cautious about that, but I just cut it, use it and toss it. And it's been like the greatest thing I ever did. I don't know where I got that trick from, but honestly, if anybody out there has that rusty Brillo pad yuckness happen to them, try this. You will be, you will be like, I love that girl. That was the greatest idea. I didn't think of it. I honestly do not. I've been doing it since I was a teenager because I hate when you get that rust spot on your counter. It smells, it makes everything smell. It like makes you feel like you're going to cut your fingers. So I love Brillo, but I don't like that aspect of it. And doing this makes it absolutely trouble free. It's the greatest thing I ever knew to do that I got probably on some tutorial. I think I might have read it in like one of those Eloise, like we're talking, wasn't it like help me Eloise or something. It was like one of those, remember when you used to read like articles on like tips on household tips, like back in a million years ago when people read things in magazines, that's where I heard of that. So that's where I got that from. And I've been doing it ever since. They do have some new beautiful wall decor at the Dollar Tree. And I love this. Uh, this one says wash, dry, fold, repeat with these florals above. And it's kind of like fake burlap print. And then this one has, it's like the match to it. It's obviously a match to it. And it says laundry, sorting out life one load at a time. But I really feel like these are pioneer woman dupes. Aren't they really, really pretty and super pioneer woman-y. I just love them. I picked these up as gifts and I know the people that I give them, the, well, one person's going to get it, but I picked up two sets of these because I know that the people I bought them for are going to love them. They love pioneer woman. And I just know that she, they're both, both of the women are going to absolutely love these and hang them up in their laundry room. And I could see like putting them like that and then maybe putting the wash, dry, fold, little ironing board with the clothes pins from the Dollar Tree that said wash, dry, fold. I actually did buy them those last year. I could see them like putting something up here and then putting that down there and making like a little gallery wall. But these are gorgeous. Like really, they don't look like they were a dollar at all, at all. I saw them from a clock. When I saw them in the store, I was like, what? Come here. Hello. I love them. And I did show the other ones in my walkthrough. They're very farmhouse. I did pick up one of these 100% vegan Ioni lash glue packs because I am doing the giveaway for the, I am doing a giveaway for the Ioni Day of the Dead lashes. They're gorgeous. It was a secret pop-up giveaway, but I don't think I said that I picked up glue because I think it was in a different bag, but don't be scared, guys. You're getting the lashes and a pack of glue to go with them in that giveaway, but if you missed it, Go back and check on my videos and you'll see one of my thumbnails has a bunch of false lashes. There's a giveaway in there. And if you enter that giveaway, you can get the glue and the lashes. I will be calling winners to those to a bunch of giveaways very soon. Uh, my birthday is on Monday, like I said. So after my birthday, I'm going to get all of that stuff done. I'm hoping to get it all done. I did pick up a couple more of these in-wash aroma boosters. Guys, these are amazing. I usually buy the good stuff 
uh, from like Arm & Hammer or Downy. These are just as good. And I have the yellow version. See the yellow with the little purplies? But it turns out that there's like three different versions all in the same bottle. Someone um, in some Dollar Tree group, a friend of mine actually brought it to our attention. I'm going to see if I can ask her to share that picture and I'm going to put it up there because there's three different color variations. I have only found the yellow ones. You guys know how I get obsessed with like the in, inside scoop scavenger hunt. So I'm going to be on the prowl for the other two cents, but she said that they're slightly different, but still all really nice. I love this one, this yellow with a little bit of purple in it. So in case you guys have been finding them, they all have the same label, but I bought the ones that are yellow with a little bit of lavender inside, and there are others. I'll show you guys the pick. Then I did pick up some of this Autoban. It eliminates odor, disinfectant, air freshener, and it says it's eucalyptus scent. I think this is sold all over the place. It's a brand name. I know that. I remember it was like sold in Home Depot. Ooh, it smells really clean. I really like it. And it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So this is good to like spray on fabric, I guess, like in your car. Oh yeah, it does. It says fabric and air freshener. Okay, Marina, you didn't reinvent the wheel. So yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do with it. Freshen up my car. Then um, I did pick up some of the tool bench packing tape. I have been picking up the other one also, the ceiling tape. Every chance I find it, I pick up a couple. The holiday season is coming. I send out a lot of care packages, so I'm going to need a lot of tape, and where better to buy it than the Dollar Tree? Honestly, tape like this is like three bucks and up at Staples, so for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. Even the tool bench one, I'm very happy when I find this. Nice big fat roll is a good buy. I love, love, love that. You guys, I completely forgot I do have another food item and an exciting one. I did pick up two boxes of this incredible deal, Captain Crunch Crunch Berry Cereal. And this is the Captain Crunch that has the multi-flavored berries. Um, it's a 13 ounce box, you guys. Everybody loves Captain Crunch. It's so nostalgic. So I picked up two boxes and I know my son's gonna make them disappear, but I feel like that's an awesome, awesome deal. And then full disclosure, I'm almost at a point where unless garbage bags and Ziploc bags are marked down to 50 cents, I don't even buy them anymore. So yeah, here, these were 50 cents. See the little sticker? It says 50 cents, but there literally is no bags. There are no bags missing in it. Um, this was 75 cents. No bags are missing in it. And this was 50 cents. And there's pretty much nothing wrong with it. There's still four bags in here. The box was tampered. It's garbage. So I'm kind of at that point where unless they're 50 cents or 75 cents, I don't even buy them anymore because they seem to be always open. I don't know why people feel the need to go to the Dollar Tree and open the boxes up. Why? Okay, maybe once in my life, I did feel the need to feel one of them to see if they were any good. And I paid for it anyway, but I didn't get multiple boxes. But to just open the boxes and leave them sitting there is kind of crazy. And the bags are good. I don't know. Like, if you open this and you feel it, you probably should be like, oh, that's a good garbage bag for a dollar. I mean, I don't know what people are feeling, but I don't know. I So I've gotten to that point where I check the clearance rack, and if I see garbage bags or Ziploc bags, I'm like, okay, I'll buy some Ziploc bags because they're a bar. That's a steal. You guys, this is amazing. First of all, I just want to say, again, it's amazing. If you see this, pick it up. It's called So Fresh, So Clean. It's for young, cool now. It's actually for like problem skin if you, you're young and you have acne, but I happen to love it. It's called a milky cleanser. It has coconut milk, almond milk, and cherry. It smells so good. It smells like marzipan. When you wash your face with this, you're in heaven. I absolutely love, 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 love this item. And I also have started making my son use it because he does have acne. He's a teenager and I want him to have nice skin. It's an 8.4 ounce bottle. That's a good size for a buck and it, 
it's nice. It makes your skin feel really good. It's soothing. He even agreed that he liked it. So yeah, I picked up two bottles of this and I'm really, really happy. I really, really like this product. Definitely give this a try if you see it in your store. This is the brand name tape that I've been showing you guys, the carton sealing tape by Tape It. But I also pick up the tool bench tape. I feel like you get a really good amount of tape for your money. You get, in this one, you get 41.1 meters. And in this one, you get 20.3 meters. So you get like half in this one, but this is really, really good tape. And it does have the cut thing. But on a regular day, I always pick this up. But I love when they get the giant version of this that comes like in this package because you get a lot of tape in it. And I've been hunting it because the Tape It brand is back in the stores. So I'm looking, looking, looking every day to find this version of it because it's a, it's like it's like this amount of tape but by the brand name and it's the best, the best deal Dollar Tree ever gets. And they usually get it around this time of year for the holiday packing. And I've been on the lookout, you guys, like a mad woman. I'm always searching the car department. The, it could be anywhere in the store. You guys know how it is. I picked up these Harvest DIY words and they're from Crafter Square. They're so cool. Have you guys really looked at what words come in. I'm sure you guys have already seen everyone in the world. I hold that I hold this a million years ago. You get give thanks. I think that it would be really cute just to put them on everyone's plate at Thanksgiving. Farm fresh. The um you know the chargers or whatever. Just put it in the plate on top of their napkin, whatever. Welcome fall. And that's what I'm gonna do with them. I just want to put them in the plates. Blessed. Hello autumn and hello fall. I always make everyone write what they're thankful for and stick it on a little tree that I have that I bought years ago. And I just love the idea of there's six. I don't think I'll have more than six people over or be with more than six people for Thanksgiving. So I just like the idea of putting this right in everyone's plate on the table. And that's what I picked that up for. I just think it's a cute little thing to do. I did pick up another. Every time I see this, I pick up a bottle. 1501 of the Hard Candy Ultra Light Foundation because it's fantastic. It is fantastic. I cannot help myself. I have one in my car. I have one in the bathroom. I have one in my makeup bag when I travel. I just love this stuff and I use it all the time. It's really good and it comes with the dipstick is what I call it. I know it has like another name that I've heard Jessica from Behind the Vanity say what it's called, but I call it a dipstick, and that's what I'm going to continue to call it because I can't remember the proper name for it. Um, what else? What else did I find? Ooh, I have Halloween, Christmas, every holiday in this haul. I did pick up this tray because I just love everything Day of the Dead. I can't help it. Even if I just serve dinner on it, on my, I just buy these because I just like looking at them. They don't last forever. Um, the melanine plates wash in the dishwasher in case you guys were wondering they come out just fine But I have a feeling this won't come out just fine, but I'm probably gonna try it anyway You guys know me, but in the meantime, I just love it. It's fun festive I may put it in the back of my fireplace put colorful candles in front of it um, And then just use it after Halloween, but for Halloween it might be there. I don't know. I just had to pick it up It's just so cool I love all things Day of the Dead. I just do. I do have a couple of really fun makeup finds. So on our trip to St with the Staten Island Ferry to see Manhattan with Constance and Pamela, I did share this. This was my one of, each one of us shared two of our favorite items that we had hauled that week. And I shared this. This is the darker like blues and beautiful 70s colors called Boogie Nights Glitter Palette. But I also found this one and it's called You Can Dig It. And I love the terms like Boogie Nights and You Can Dig It. They're all so 70s. And this is a BYS palette. They come super sealed. So be aware of that. I can't even get it out of the box that it's, I opened it. I can't even get it out. And once you get it out of the package, it does have the card in the back that has the name that you can dig it. It comes in this clear plastic. Then it is totally sealed. So it's super fresh. 
Do you guys see those colors? This is killer. Look at that gold. I love it already. Here it is out of the packaging. You guys, it is so vibrant and beautiful. I am obsessed. Oh, I always drop these silly things. Isn't that go It. I feel like I'm at a party when I look at this, like a glitter party. And let's just swatch it. So it's glitter cream. So you don't have to go super heavy. That is, ugh, that's that one, the peachy one. You know, I want to put the gold one right on my eyes. That's what I want to do. And I'm gonna. Okay, I love it. It's really nice, actually. I mean, I do have like makeup on that I've been wearing all day, but it's about nine o'clock at night and I put my makeup on this morning, but you can definitely see the sparkle. Ugh, it's really pretty. So I'll put it on my, I'll swatch it. I, you know, I can't help myself. I always have to put make. Oh yeah. See, so it's, I think it's subtle. <laughs> I know how ridiculous I sound, but I do feel like it's just subtle glitter. Look, it's just a little glitter. What's, you know, it's nice actually. So here's the pink. Oh, the pink one is so pretty. The light pink one. That's the light pink one. It's like beautiful. And now we're going to dig into the dark side, this side. Now, of course, this color right here, gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And then we have the greener one. I'll have to put it a little bit higher. Okay, I'll put it here. That is gorgeous. It's like this green one. Isn't that beautiful? And then we'll do the purple one, which is that purple one. Now I'm like covered in glitter and I don't care. I love it. So I have to say that the hard candy is kind of better. It's more smooth, but it does go all the way through. The glitter goes all the way through and that's important. And now I'm going to test out that fuchsia one. It's nice actually. And there's the fuchsia one. So they're all nice. So those are all really, really pretty. And like I said, you could just put it over a color. Like I was already wearing yellow, but if I had like false eyelashes on and had really done myself up, you could really go and make like a really beautiful eye, eye look with this. This palette really sets your makeup to a whole new level of sparkle and pizzazz. And I really like, I really like glitter palettes. I like glitter eyeshadow. I mean, you, I don't wear it by itself. Sometimes I have worn it actually by itself, but I've never tried the BYS all by itself, but I have worn other glitter palettes alone, um, that I have found from hard candy and they work really well. So I'll try that and we'll see how it works, but I really like it so far. I did get this three pack of Gildan socks now, I know that everyone's getting the three packs of Gold Toe, and I did recently find some, but you guys, these are really cushy. Fat, fat, cushy. Do you guys see the level of cush that you get in here? It's like skinny, 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 boom, fat, cushiness. So I am, a, do you see that, what I'm showing you? That is a really comfy looking sock. I think that the boys are gonna enjoy these. So I picked up two packs of these, and I know the boys are going to like it. And it also has that arch support band. These are pretty great socks for a dollar. You get three. They still are a brand name. And I was happy to find them. And I did pick up these gold toe three pair power sock lights. They're sporty. Um, they also have the cushion. Actually, the Gildan ones have a little more cushion. But these are really soft and they feel wonderful. And um, they're like wicking for moisture, they help keep your feet dry. So I actually picked these up for my friend, Kathy, because um, she could really use socks like this. She does a lot of schlepping and stuff, and I was happy to find these for her. I hope to find some more for her. Definitely hoping to find some of the girly colors in these for my friend, Kathy, but either way, she'll still like these. I think that these are fine for boys or girls. 
men or women. And I'm on the hunt for some more. I do have some other three packs. I don't think I have them in this haul in front of me. Um, but I will just show you guys what I have in front of me. I did pick up some of these. I'm not sure, but I might need them in the DIY that I'm doing. I'm doing like a kind of like a placemat for a tablescape. And I bought the pretty smaller leaves that the Dollar Tree is selling. And I decided I might want to add these in. So I picked up a pack of each and you get five. Last year, I could have sworn you got more. Maybe I'm, no, I don't think you did. Not in these. But you get five of each in these packs. So I may or may not use them. Then I actually did, and I've been seeing these for months, Pick up. I picked up a dozen of these really pretty wall decals because I think I have a DIY in mind for them. So I picked up a dozen, and I picked up, a dozen of these. Now these are bigger. They're wallpaper stickers. And again, I showed these in a walkthrough a million years ago. Didn't pick them up. And then I decided I had to have them. I have started doing some trash to treasure upcycles with my husband. So I kind of have been playing around with the idea of putting these in like the back of bookshelves that we upcycle. So I did pick up a dozen of these as well. A dozen of these beautiful, these are beautiful. I wish I had real tile like this in my bathroom or anywhere for that matter. I love like Talavera Mexican type tile. I'm about to knock the stand over. And then I did get, I know I got, I got like all of them. I, I bought a few of these just in case I decide to do something with these because I bought three of them. I'm thinking maybe just to upcycle one shelf. Maybe we'll paint it dark green and put this in the background because we we have been um, finding things and painting them with chalk paint and upcycling them and flipping them. And I got a bunch of these because I think they're gorgeous. And I'm definitely going to be using this in an upcycle project that I have going on in my bedroom. I have all these drawers that I took out of an old antique dresser. No, they weren't in a dresser. They were in like a, like a desk that had like a side, like file kind of thing, but vintage. I think it was like mahogany, but it was old. And I painted them like green a million years ago and I drilled them into the wall and I used them as storage, like little cubby holes for things. But I'm taking them down and I'm painting them white and I'm going to put these in the background and then I'm going to put them back up. So I'm in the back of the, cause okay. So the drawer I put it this way and the like little handles that used to be for the drawers, I hang like jewelry on. <laughs> yeah, I have like crazy storage in my house because it's a tiny house. So you need to make all kinds of weird storage. But I'm going to put these in the background of the drawers and just paint them white because my my bedroom is basically blue and white. And uh, I, I really like this paper. It's very Art Deco meets beach. I just, I love this paper. I think it's the, I think this is the prettiest of all the papers in my opinion. I know everyone loves the barnwood. I like this one. It's my absolute favorite. If I could just wallpaper my whole wall, if I could do a whole wall in my room in this, I would, but I think I would have to go to a lot of Dollar Trees to get it. And I did pick up like a lot of those though. I, I just like, I think I bought like half of all they had maybe like 20 of them. I think that's more than enough. I think this will be my last but not least. And I do have so much more to share with you guys. I did pick up these gorgeous gnomes. Yes, I'm obsessed with, you guys know that I love gnomes. And I'm wondering, have you guys been finding the gnomes? Like what's going on with the gnomes in your area? Are you guys finding all the gnomes? I have, since I found these, I have found tons of other gnomes. And I'm just wondering, like, if you guys are finding the gnomes, these are stakes, but of course you can take them off of the stake and put them in a wreath or put like a little thing and stand them up somewhere or put some jus cord and hang them. You could do whatever you want with these guys, but there are others as well. And they're not going to be in this haul, but I'm asking you guys because I bought extras. Perhaps I will do a gnome themed giveaway because I have found lots of gnomes. And I know that gnomes are very, very popular during the holiday. So I want to know how you guys are doing with gnomes. And I'm starting out with these to just share that I found them. You guys might be seeing them again after I read some of the comments 
on what the status is in your gnome situation. Like what's going on with you guys and your gnomes? Cause I know everybody's out looking for gnomes. I know I have been like hunting them. And today when I actually found them today and I was thrilled, I left the store with like a handful of gnomes of all kinds. And, um, so that's it. That's all I'm going to share with you guys in this. Sh it's a short haul for me because I see that I'm running out of time. I have about 54 seconds left before it goes blank or I don't know what happens. Actually, I've never done this before. This has never happened to me before where my phone ran out of space. But um, that's it, you guys. That's everything I can share with you before I get closed. That's all, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short haul. Let me know what your gnome situation is in your towns. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.